yeah, like we said, we're in we're in a place where we have like the landscape idea basically done for us, right? We have the rule of thirds. And I and I knew that we were gonna kinda come out here because I've drawn it so many times. Um, so we have that. So what's left to do here is to adjust the drawing to the actual world that we're in, right? Because um, I've already basically started. So pretty much what you would need to do at this point is continue with the rule of thirds, right? Like you'll have the a third here and a third here. And you'll notice that there's a big dip down over here on the right. So if I go ahead and decide that these trees are going to be about this tall and the dip is going to be like right there. And this dead tree is going to come up right here. I can immediately begin adjusting for that. And this is when erasers come in, right? Erasers are not mistake fixers in drawing. They're actual, they're actual drawing tools. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm not erasing out this stuff, I'm drawing in the negative spaces, right? So wherever there's like light coming through the trees, I can snag that real quick. And I can get an idea of where some, some trees are. And one of, the, one of the things about this little spot is that um, You'll, you're able to see sort of um, layers of trees going back in space, right? And when you draw certain things like pine leaves, right? you'll notice that the leaves are clustered on top of the branch, right? So you see that branch grow out, and they don't really have a particular direction that they grow in because the pine clusters kind of go in all directions. They just kind of you know, spread out, like um, just in, in kind of more or less a spherical pattern. So when you do these marks, you know, go in all directions in creating little clusters, and you wind up approximating that tree pretty quickly. Make sense? So, I'm just gonna continue on and uh, start drawing in kind of the each each register. And what I notice here is that the front register uh, is slightly darker than what's in back. There's a uh, a greater value range in it, and if I need to do subtle changes, that's what the kneaded rubber is for. And the way you use it is you just push down and it picks up graphite. You don't like rub like you would with a hard erase. And so rather rather than drawing like any particular um, likeness of a tree, you want to draw the way that the tree grows. Right? So it grows, has these little branches, this pine, and they kind of curve down. So that's that's the way you make your marks go. You're looking for looking for more um, motion than you are uh, the actual accurate aspect of the way the tree looks. Because the brain is a weird thing. It's uh, it's like a synthetic 
machine, right? It wants to take something that it sees and make it make sense. So you can see there's a second register behind this thing. Generally, you think that a tree might be vertical, so what you're looking for is where the tree is not vertical, and you want to pick that up, right? So you don't want your tree to be like identical to one of these light poles. So the thing that'll make this interesting uh, in terms of the ground is where you find that line of the actual ground plane. As distinct from the bottom of these trees. And so to, to create the illusion that there's something behind like this, this pine tree, what I do is I pretend that that pine tree is not there and I draw straight through it. And then when I come back and work on the pine tree some more, it'll go right in front of it, or it'll feel like it anyway. My horizon's like right here. Right. So you notice that the that um, the edge of the of the trees is slightly below because I know that I'm six feet tall and there's going to be six feet of tree uh, sort of below the horizon line. And then you see that there's the road, and then beyond the road there's another little like field area. So I need to find that little that little field um, just to give it more, you know, a little more interest. And so I need to bring a little line. And I can find a couple more spots than actually exist to make it actually make sense. 